Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at standard input, standard output, redirection, and pipelining. So let's get started with a new command, echo. Echo prints out its arguments that it's given to the standard output. So if we go echo, hello world, it will print to the standard output, hello world, and then exit, and give you back the prompt. So this is the standard output. If we uh, use the redirection character, which is this greater than sign, we can redirect the standard output from the terminal to a file on the disk. So we could go, we could say, call this file example.txt. And now if we uh, list the working directory contents, we can see we've got example.txt. So that's redirecting the standard output from a command to a text file. So you can write a text file. We can read this text file using less. So there it is. Uh, the output that came from the echo command saves to this example.txt file. So redirection is quite useful because we can do things like say if we use ls and give it the option dash l to print some print it in print the uh, directory contents in column format with a few interesting pieces of file information such as dates and times we could say save that to disk so we could go um, uh, documents and so in this example that documents.txt file would then contain a list of all the documents in a particular directory and some interesting file information that we might learn about in later videos. So that is the redirection operator in bash. It's the greater than sign and it's great for sending the standard output into a file. Uh, you can also use the uh, append to file operator if you use double arrows like that. It won't, it won't overwrite the existing file. The last thing we're going to be looking at is pipelines. And pipelines use the pipe operator. It's a bar. This is a, on my keyboard, it's uh, on the same key as the backslash. I press shift. So this is the pipe character. And what we can do is we can use this pipe to take the output from a command, the standard output, and use it as the standard input for a second command. So if A was our first command, we could pipe the output from that command from A into B. So that's a Unix pipe, and we're going to see that right now. So one of the things that we can do is we can cat a file. So we could uh, say cat the file shopping list. And then we could use the Unix pipe to pipe that into a brand new command that I haven't shown you before, wc, which will take as its standard input, output from the previous command, the stuff before on the left-hand side of the pipe, and it will use that as its standard input. And so if we use wc with the dash l option, it will output for us the number of lines in the standard input that it's getting. So it will be the contents of this text file. If we do that, we can see that it's output the number four. And if we just cat our shopping list, just run the command without the bar and into the WC, we can see that indeed our shopping list.txt file has four lines to it. So that was redirection, pipelining, and using these two operators, these two very useful tools, to manipulate the standard input and the standard output, writing it to files, passing the input from one command to another. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.